What's up, y'all? It's Tommy here with Everyday Finance. Now, in this video, I want to talk about a company that I've used called Scott's Cheap Flights, which basically allows you to be able to find uh, cheaper flights and has allowed me to be able to take more flights or more vacations per year than I did before. So if that's something that interests you, be sure you stay tuned. Now, one of the mistakes I used to do in the past was not doing enough price shopping when it came to airline tickets. Basically, whenever I would look for a ticket, I would just try to search based off of whatever dates that I was thinking that I was gonna go. And depending on whatever types of pricing that I was seeing uh, for that airline or whatever, uh, maybe I was using like a price line or something, then if it was too expensive for me, I would just discount it and I wouldn't look any further. Now, nowadays I have a lot more structured of a process I use and part of that is because of Scott's Cheap Flights. So I wanted to touch on this video, kind of what my process is and how Scott's Cheap Flights falls into that process and whether Scott Cheap Flights is something that might be worth it for you to take part in. Okay. Now, um, so far this year, um, I've been able to take just uh, three international flights, right? So the first one is going to be in Colombia, which I did uh, in February. I went to uh, Mexico back in, I want to say March, April time period. And then now I'm actually currently in uh, Spain in a, a little city called Granada. Okay. Now, that's one of the reasons that kind of motivated me to shoot this video because I've had a lot of you guys who have asked me or talked to me and said like, you know, how are you doing this traveling? I've told you guys that I do more of like a long-term travel, right? So I'm typically going out and traveling for a month or so at a time. And because of that, you know, I have to do a little bit different when it comes to like planning and things like that. And I have to be a lot, a lot more strategic whenever I went about doing those kind of things. But uh, kind of the old way of how it used to work was, you know, you basically you pick where you want to go. Right. Step one, you pick where you want to go. So maybe your friends told you about a, a dope place and, you know, like Cancun or something. Right. You've heard all these places. So you choose a, a location. And then the next thing you do is you pick when you want to go. Right. So you decide, hey, you know, maybe I could take this time off or what have you. And then step three, you would check the airfare. Now, that's kind of the same method that I used to do as well. Right. That I typically was kind of following. Um that breakdown but i found a new way of planning flights right and uh it was almost kind of like a reverse of that so what i would do first is i would find you know the where all the cheap flights were what cheap flights were available for my location so there's apps nowadays where you can do this more specifically you can use a, a program like uh you know google flights and google flights what's uh, dope about it is it actually lets you um you know choose a uh an origin but not a destination and i'll throw up like a little screenshot here so you can see it but it'll allow you to basically choose your home airport and then it'll show you all the locations around or all the flights going out of that airport and the pricing so there you can kind of you know instead of you being the one who's actually um, going about choosing you know the location you can kind of see what locations are cheap and which of those cheap locations you would actually want to go to right and that's how I realized I actually had no intention of going to Columbia earlier in the year, but I ended up going because of this, because I was actually doing this technique and I saw, oh, there's cheap flights to Medellin, Colombia. And so I ended up doing that and definitely one of the best cities that I've been to, one of the cities that I've enjoyed the most. Right. So that's kind of the route that you want to go. Right. And then step three is when you can pick when you want to go. That's another dope feature of the Google flights is it actually lets you choose a range as opposed to a specific date. So I could say, you know, like I want to go, I'm planning on going for two weeks sometime in the next three months or something or four months. And because of that, it'll kind of show you the best pricing in the next three months. Right. So it gives a lot more flexibility and just helps to be for you to be able to, you know, find better deals that are out there. Now, where exactly the Scott's free flights come in on this? Now, I think the key part of you that you want to realize with Scott's cheap flights is that like they're pretty much doing what that process I just explained to you, but they're doing it a lot, you know, basically on steroids. Right. And I think the easiest way for this is, you know, they're searching for all these different deals. And I know you, you're you probably thinking like, why, why, um, you know, why don't I just do it myself? I recommend you do it yourself, but it doesn't hurt to have Scott's cheap flights because they're actually going to be doing the process for you. But even more extensive right they're actually going to be looking at different combinations like a lot of times one thing that i realized was like it might be let's say i want to go from you know like dallas to columbia just for example or even houston to columbia i might see that oh instead of me leaving from houston if i left from san antonio or another another airport in houston like a smaller airport the flight might be a hundred dollars cheaper two hundred dollars deep cheaper right and 
those are things that you know typically i wouldn't be looking at but then once i started seeing those um those numbers with scott's uh cheap flights that's whenever i realized it right and that's why i think that they're kind of beneficial now i found that they've they, you know it's it's quite a beneficial thing for you to take a part of and one of the things i do want to touch on too is you're not really booking flights through them okay the way it works is they're giving they're tracking down you know whatever deals are out there uh, even mistake flights I don't, or mistake fares i don't know if you heard of those before where sometimes you know an airline might mess up and book uh, release a ticket for a hundred bucks and it's like a first class ticket overseas or something something crazy like that right and they track down all those deals and then they just show you the information and they they'll typically they'll have like a button you can click on that'll input all that information into google flights where you you'll be able to make your purchase so basically what they really are is they handle all the research for you right they kind of make that aspect of it a little easier for you now one thing i will say uh, the reason why I even touch on always uh, mentioning this for people is at first I wasn't too sure about it until I just went ahead and signed up for it because at the end of the day, they actually have a free plan. Now, it's a little limited in terms of what it's going to show you, but it kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect by uh, taking part in it. Right now, it'll show you a sample like the deals available to you. And I've written a couple of notes on each other because they have different plans here. Uh, you know, they'll pretty much give you an idea of what you can expect with this plan. And I typically I recommend this for everybody is like, go ahead and sign up for the free plan. If it's if you find value in it, then you can move forward and, you know, try to get uh, you can move forward and see about one of their other plans. Right. But the free plans already will show you the deals that are available and you're still going to see pretty good deals with that. Now, then they have a premium plan and it's forty nine dollars a month. So or forty nine dollars a year, excuse me. So basically it comes out to about uh, $4, about $5 a, a month, a little bit less than that. And, you know, this is going to cover domestic and international e uh, economy deals. Okay. So any deals on economy, and then they'll have like rare bucket list deals, weekend getaways, mistake fares, but the mistake fares only from your home airport. So you get to choose whatever you want for your home airport. Um, uh, uh, and that's basically what I was saying. Like whenever a ticket's in the correctly priced, some examples are, um, uh, sixty-three dollars round trip from or to Chile, right? To Chile, uh, two hundred and fifty dollar round trip to Europe in business class. It's just crazy. New York City to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands for eighty dollars round trip. So just deals where you're just like, dang, like, you know, those are the ones where like, if you got a deal like that, this one that subscription, that forty-nine dollar subscription, totally worth it, just for that year. And you've only you already you've only took in one flight. Um, then they have an elite and this one they just launched this membership actually the elite is 200 dollars a year or 199 a year and so that comes out to about 20 bucks a month and this plan i would look more for if you're the type of person who's doing like if you're flying more like business or first class right because i think that's really what it's really tailored for right it includes everything that you're going to get in the premium the plan i just talked about but this one will give you okay one mistake fares everywhere like all throughout the u.s and also they'll give you uh, deals for premium economy business and first class right and that's where i think it's it's a game changer it's like if you're in one if you're in that situation it's a game changer for you because imagine if you're able to find a first class ticket overseas for 500 or a thousand dollars off it, it makes this membership instantly worth it right so that's kind of the way i've looked at it uh me personally i think this is pretty much a no-brainer right uh i think this is you know the fact that they have a free plan, I think it's something that is going to be a game changer for a lot of people. And it's worth even just giving it, a, giving it a shot and taking a look at it. Uh, you know, even me, the fact that I it's kind of shifted my perspective in terms of the way I look at flights. And I've just seen what I was able to do this year. It just makes sense that, you know, if you're someone who's looking to travel a lot or you let's say you're working and you want to enjoy your vacations and you want to try new places, then hands down. I'd recommend you check out Scott's free flights or cheap's flights. I always say free flights, Scott's cheap flights and see if you can find a deal for yourself. Alrighty. So that's going to be pretty much the gist of it for this video. I did want to touch on one last thing, actually. It's that, you know, one of the things too, is that I like it because it's, it's helped me focus more on other things that come with traveling. I'm doing a different type of traveling guys. Um, I'm traveling more long-term. So that means like I'm traveling typically like, uh, I'm typically doing like, uh, a month or more out whenever I'm traveling. And so this thing has helped me, it's helped me tremendously in terms of that, right? And so what I'd recommend is, uh, you know, 
if you if you don't have a game plan in terms of how you find um, reasonably priced tickets, take a look at uh, Scott's free flights and just take a look and see what kind of offers you have for your homes, your home airport. Right. And you'll be shocked at what you'll see. OK. And I think from that, that'll be enough to convince you to to look more into it. I definitely the you know, I, I've kind of read up on the the, the founder I've seen. Uh, he's done a few like ask me anything. So I don't if you guys are familiar with that uh, on uh, Reddit, things like that. And so he's definitely he seems like a good guy. And I definitely value this app. I think it's a great app for anyone who's looking to travel. Right. And so. That's the gist of this video, guys. I appreciate y'all taking out the time to watch. Let me know if you'd be interested in me shooting more videos in terms of the style of traveling that I'm doing, right? More long-term, or I'd say like mid-term traveling, right? Like staying in places for a month, two months at a time. If that's something that interests you, be sure that you uh, comment that down below so I know. And also throw a like on this video if you found this information valuable. And be sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, alrighty? So that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.